Hello everybody and welcome back to Mallory's Pets. Today we will be doing 10 fun things to do with your pets. Hope you enjoy. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Any other video recommendations, please let me know in the comment section below. I also have to still finish my night's vlog, but I never get a chance to record. So, thank you so much for watching. Oh yeah, if you're wondering what happened here, Ruby bit my finger too hard and started bleeding. Okay, but thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Remember, 10 fun things to do with your pets. I will be counting down from 10 to 1. So, 1 will be my absolute favorite out of all these. Okay, let's get right into the video. This band aid! It won't let me pause it. Okay, everyone, at number 10, we have finding your pet's favorite food or snack. This could be human food treats that they have made at the pet store anything like that so for guinea pigs you can feed them a bunch of vegetables and fruits and then dogs my dog like um she likes popcorn we give her some popcorn sometimes then other like meat like chicken broth and stuff she also likes to eat carrots she likes like food like a little bit of human food that's not bad for them my cats we don't they don't really eat in human food i mean We've given them, like, chicken before. That's about what they, like, to eat. They don't like any other human food. But, yeah. So, that is at number 10. For now, the guinea pig's favorite fruit or vegetable is probably lettuce. Romaine lettuce for now. I have given them apples and bananas. I'm not sure if they really eat them too much. Or, um, I think they just for a minute and then they peppers. So, I was like, I'm guessing they love romaine lettuce the most out of all of them. Right? Ruby seems to like eating my finger. That's But yeah, that's about what they like to eat, actually. I'm gonna try some other fruits and veggies. They have eaten carrots, too. They take little nibbles out of that. But romaine lettuce seems to be their favorite. Oh, I gotta clean the kitchen. But, yeah. The reason why it, this is a 10 is because it's not super entertaining, but I think your pet does like to try new foods. Luna also likes watermelon. <laughs> the sound of her eating it. <laughs> yeah, she likes some watermelon, right, Lou? Then the things we normally give her are the little tiny milk bone ones. We also have some bones for her. Like these ones she likes. Yeah, that's what I train her with. We also had these training treats at one point. But here are some bones that we give her that she likes. The, like rawhide bad for them. So you're supposed to give them rawhide free. These ones are like soft. She eats these so quickly. No, what happened was we ordered them from Chewy and they gave us the wrong one. But she loved the yeast. So we're like, okay. We have these huge ones. I don't even know why. These like don't really have a flavor. But yeah, that's about what she eats. And she has these pork chops on. She doesn't like these ones that much though. She really likes these too. She eats the bacon off of that first. But yeah, right there. watermelon like a little bit i'm not sure if they'll eat it at all right Kelly? where's scarlet scarlet got bit by this cat again but it was on her face this time so it looks really bad she's probably oh she's right there hi you okay huh can you some watermelon she's like er, no come on look it's a snack if anyone will eat it i bet scarlet will no do you want some? She's like, what? She's like, that's not food. She's like, oh, treats. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Come on, Callie. See, yeah, they don't eat very much, except they like chicken broth sometimes, and then the, um, they mostly eat that, and their cat treats temptations. Callie won't usually eat the temptations, but she likes, um, the cat ones, and Scarlet will eat any of the treats. See, like, this is one of the little toys I made for Scarlet. It's a tree dispenser. She doesn't use it as much as she does with this one. Then Callie, I made her this because she likes to rub her head on the brush a lot. That's how I trained her with the brush instead of treats. But yeah, so they won't really eat anything other than chicken. Number nine is redecorating your pet's cage or a little area. Like if you have um, an animal in the cage, whether it be a rodent or a um, reptile or an amphibian, you want is simply redecorating their cage by moving around the hideouts that they have in there. 
um, food bowls, but make sure they find them so they're not like, oh my god, where'd the food go? So when I first got them, their water bottle was here, but it's hard. But like, they have to stand up to keep the hay because they're tiny. So I moved up there and now they reach it perfectly fine. Then I have these, they're like little bird seed treats kind of, but it wasn't bird seed, it was like for guinea pigs. And I, they hit cook onto the cage, so I have those on there so they get chewy. Like, here's what they look like. This one has barely any left, they have the other two. Then I made this little um, hut thingy that they can go under. And then they have toilet rolls to play with. Other stuff. I'm not going to really redecorate it right now. I will when I clean it, though. So, yeah, that's about it. I'll show you Luna's area, too. So we did move Luna's bed and toys over here in our dining room because we're in, it used to be in the living room. We had our Christmas tree, so I'm going to move it back right now. Here's her like little toy bin. One second, I got to I'll just move it. It's like a laundry basket. That's what we have it in for now. So I moved it back into the living room where it used to be in the corner. So yeah, she likes to destroy her beds. But yeah, that's basically what you do if you don't have a cage for her them to rearrange and then I'm not going to do the cat porch though because we also have to clean that but yeah number eight is taking your pet on a walk you don't only have to do this for dogs I have leashes for my cats but I didn't train them very well with it because when I put it on them they just stand there Callie will actually walk Scarlet lays there though I Midnight mean, I haven't tried it because we did have a collar for him that we would put on him but he hates it and I took um Callie and Scarlet's collar off because um, I saw Callie getting choked one time because she was rubbing her head on it. Luna. She was rubbing her head on this one thing and it got caught and started pulling. And it was supposed to break away but it didn't. So I was like, nope, taking these off. And Callie always ended up losing them anyways. So yeah, and that and because they have bells and when we got Luna we didn't want her to hear them. So they could easily like escape from places so she wouldn't chase them. But yeah, you can take any of your pets on a walk honestly. If you have guinea pigs you can put them in your pocket or carry them to make sure they don't get away from you or that'll be terrible. If you have a fish, you can put it in a tiny cup and carry the cup with you, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, you can easily train your cats to get be good on leashes. They're not easily, but you can. So yeah. Right you? Your pets enjoy walks probably more than you do unless you like to walk. Walking's okay. That's why I put it at eight instead of like um, 10 or 9, but it is still pretty low in my opinion. Say bye, you! This is what she does on the way back of a walk. She likes to eat it, the leash. Come on, I don't know why. No, she, like, I'll try to get away from her and, like, jump around. Come on! But she's, like, crazy. Come on, you, come on! Seven is probably your pets meeting up with like your other neighbor's pets or friend's pets. I don't have a video of this right now, but I do have a picture of one of my neighbor's dogs that Luna likes to go play with. So I'll show you that. This is Tucker, one of my neighbor's dogs. He's huge and Luna loves to play with him. Six would be trying like trends or challenges with your pets. Like in my previous video, I did some TikTok trends or challenges with my pets. So I'll just show you a little clip for that. And if you haven't seen it, go watch it now. So this was a cat TikTok challenge. I did this one at night because he's outside running around somewhere right now. But this was where you brush your cat with a wet toothbrush. I Yeah, you might have seen this one in the other video and see what they do. But yeah. Five would probably be making your pets homemade treats. Um, like if you have dogs, they have a bunch of dog recipes for like, like ones with chicken and same for cats. Then for um, rodents, you can do like their favorite vegetables like set up real nice. Or if you don't have like a recipe, you can just get some of their wet food and dose it with treats and their dry food. Here's it at the end. <laughs> That's it.
nothing fancy, but it's just a snack that they might enjoy. Okay, everyone, so number four would have to be playing games. There's so many different games you can play with all of your pets. So, yeah, this one is on the top five, so it's pretty good. Some games you can play with little rodents, guinea pigs, rabbits, whatever. You can make little obstacle course things for them to go under, and you can, like, um, show them how to do the obstacle courses, like, run them through it. That kind of goes along with tricks. But you can also make little games out of, like, hiding lettuce in their cage or any other fruits and vegetables they like are around your room and then they'll figure out so they can find it. Or even make, like, little toys, which is also a section that they can play with, and you can make a game out of that. So there's so many other games you can play with your dogs and cats, whether it be, like, hiding some of their tr favorite treats around the house and watching them go ballistic trying to find all of them. So you can also do this with your cats, but it also can be something as simple as Playing with them their favorite toy, like tug of war or fetch, right, Liam? Yeah. So it's so simple. Like with cats, you can roll one of their balls to them, especially kittens. Kittens love to play. Um, uh, I might show you the cats, but Scarlet is sick right now or hurt, and she is the one that loves to play. Here's one where I hid some of her dog treats around my house so she could climb them with the other one right there. So yeah, I hit like five, so you're gonna watch her try to find all of them. Luna! Wanna go inside? Come on, Luna, want cookie? You're going to eat my neighbor kids. <laughs> Some games you're gonna play with your cats is just playing with their toys. Or putting little like treat balls for them, right, Kelly? Huh? Yeah? Oh, do you wanna say hi to Scarlet? She's still hurting. Oh, hi, baby. It's her heated bolt. Sorry, the heated bed. Ah, it popped. It's bleeding. Ew, you probably don't want to see that, but I'm going to show you anyway. Oh, it's bleeding. Scarlet, it's okay. Come on out. What's she doing? Hey, Kelly. Oh, she looks so much skinnier. Scarlet, are you okay? Oh, wow, that's terrible. Ah, it popped. Whoa, it looks like half her face is gone. Hi. But it should be feeling better. Callie, you're blocking the view. Oh, Scarlet. Oh. Girl, really, really? Oh, Scarlet, you okay, baby? Three would have to be training them tricks. You can pretty much do this for all your pets. It doesn't have to be like tricks necessarily. Like, I bet if fish can hear bells from underwater, every time you feed them, you ring a bell. So when you start ringing it, they'll come up like where you normally feed them. I bet you could train them that. It would take a long time, but still. A lot of rodents you can train tricks, like guinea pigs, um, rats, and mice are the best at it. Guinea pigs can learn. I was training them to stand on their back legs. Like, I would lift a piece of lettuce up, and they would stand. My cats do know a few tricks. I used to teach Midnight, but he's gotten older. He's not even that old, but still. So I don't really treat, teach him them anymore. But um, Callie and Scarlet do know a few. I won't make Scarlet do any right now because she is hurt, but I'll show you Callie's. And then Luna knows a lot. The guinea pigs, I was doing those earlier. If they didn't eat all their lettuce already, I could try to show you them. Okay, so yeah. Ruby. This one is where they just stand on their back legs. Let me see if I can get Ruby to do it. She has done it before. Opal kind of does it, but she mostly... I think there's some other tricks that she'll like to do way better. Like, she likes to run. She, I mean, she kind of likes to run. She likes to escape, that's for sure. Come on. What are you doing? Are you, oh, she's probably sad, but she's like, where's my buddy? But with tricks, it takes a long time and motivation. You have to motivate your pet. Like, if they stop wanting to do the tricks, you have to give them more treats more often until they eventually, like, start doing it all the time. Luna literally will not do a trick other than paw. Sometimes she'll jump if she's excited. But otherwise, she will not do any tricks unless you give her a treat or something like a toy. Right, Ruby? Yeah, I don't know if she's going to do it. Are you going to do it? No. But I will make a follow-up video on guinea pig tricks once I start actually teaching them. 
Because they're so tiny, so, yeah. Opal wants to say hi real quick, too. What are you doing? You did like this. Opal! They were both in the same little tiny tissue box. I was like, oh my There is Opal. Sorry, she's doing that. Opal, what are you doing? She's like, I'm trying. She's like, Because Scarlet's hurt, I'm not going to let her do hers. Okay. Now I'm going to do Cat. Come here, Callie. Callie is brushed a little bit. Weird, right? Oh, don't fall, please. Oh. Okay. Look, Callie. Come on. Good girl. First try. Wow. Hi. That's Callie's trick. Again. There you go. Good girl. Callie, one more time. Callie, come on. Good girl, wow. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll show you one of Scarlet's. Yeah, she's not gonna do it. Oh, it's okay. Number two is probably making toys for your pets. This one is fine. Some of them don't work as well, but some of them do. So I'll show you the ones I made for Callie and Scarlet. And Luna's. And the ones I made for the piggies. This one I made for Callie since she likes to rub her head so she can just rub her head on it. This one I can do exactly how they said. Same with this one. Scarlet doesn't really use it though. She does. Um, your, so you fill the bottle up with treats and then they pull on this to get the treats out. But she does like this one from Kong that you fill up with the treats. Really Callie? And she will hit it right Scarlet. She's trying to clean her now, but yeah. Then I made a lot for the guinea pigs and a few for Luna. This one is super simple for your dog. I was trying to cut a hole, but it didn't work. But Luna cracked a hole for me. So you just put treats in here, and then it takes them a long time to get the treats out. Doesn't bounce very well, though. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, this one I saw on Little Adventures, the um, other guinea pig. She has a guinea pig channel. Um, she made this little hurdle. You could also use it as a little hay thing, like put hay through the top on there. So, I, not copywriting, I said what I made it for, or my idea. But yeah, I thought of this. It's popsicle sticks. I use this big headband. This flimsy cardboard sheet thing. I don't even know. Um, I got it out of a Chewy's box. They use it as a tunnel all the time. Like, here is what it looks like normally. Like, this little flimsy sheet. I think it's just padding. This hurdle that I made broke. This one is the better version anyways. I have to fix the glue. But it's just a little hurdle that they can jump over. This is a house that they like. It's a tissue box that I cut. I also cut it through here. And then you put little blankets in there. I also cut the back. They use it as an escape hatch, but it's also to grab them if they won't come to you. Then I saw one of these at PetSmart for like $10, and I made it, and it works the same way. So it's like a little pocket that I go inside of it and sleep in there. I made this out of two pieces of felt and hot glue. And I don't know, I think it was like $10 at PetSmart, so yeah. That I came up with because I remembered seeing it, and I was like, oh, that's so cool. I also made costumes for them, but I'll show you that soon. This is another little house. It's a tissue box. I cut a little window out of it, too. Um, I just put this little thing for them to play with in there. And then it has a little door. That's about it, yeah. This one is my favorite. You can do it with any animals at all. Like, any animals. You can do this with plants, too, I guess. But, so what you do, it's a photo shoot. So you find an area in your house, you lay down a background, or you put one up, like, on the wall. I'm just going to lay one down. You put, you can use costumes, you don't have to. I've made costumes for my guinea pigs, and I have a few for my dog. My cats refuse to wear costumes, though. I have some photos from a long time ago of my cats. They're on my tablet, though, so I won't be able to show you those. But, basically, I put, um, like, 
the luau necklaces around them and black and white and they were like looking up at me it was so cute so maybe i can try to recreate them outside but yeah that's about it this one i have a towel that i would like that this will be for the day i have a white towel wow mallory great job i will be set actually one second so you make a little set when you're taking a picture to only get in the set so you're not like mm, or like that you have to only get the set so if you're taking one from above you gotta angle it correctly to where you can only see that set like i could move the couch and move that to the middle Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Any video recommendations, make sure to tell me. I will be finishing my night's vlog. That's my motiva motivation. Then I will do Callie's and Scarlet. And if you guys want another Luna one, because I heard some people do, I could show me giving her a bath or something. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.